Hi, my name is Faye, and welcome back to I'm a Fan, the show where I had to switch it up on you hoes. <laughs> you know, I just had to give you a little something different, a little, you know. Today we are chatting about Drag Race, season 14, episode 8. The girl group challenge was cute. I really, really liked the first group. Didn't necessarily care for the second group, and then like the third group was like a little bit better. No, but that first group, Bosco, Diet, and Willow, I really thought it was gonna be a group win because like all of them killed it. I am up. Diet got her first win per period as she deserves. Y'all can like hate her and like she's the villain of the season, whatever, but she was great. She deserved that win. Fight me in the comments. Don't fight me. I'm I'm fragile. <laughs> And then damn, not my girl Carrie. Who's gonna carry the confessionals? Who's gonna carry the like conversations in the workroom? She was our narrator. <laughs> what are we gonna do without our narrator? <laughs> we still have so many episodes left without a narrator. And you know what, speaking of which, this week's sweet spot goes to Carrie, our confessional queen, the queen who kept us going through the season was our narrator, was our trans icon. We stand her forever. And honestly, I'm just, I'm, I'm so confused on what we're going to do, like narration wise for the rest of the season. Like Angie, Bosco, Gaia, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> Y'all gonna need to pick up the slack. Okay. But also like why they put that terrible wig on Lady Camden? Do I have room to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, this terrible wig was a choice, okay? <laughs> I don't feel like she had a choice. <laughs> <laughs> what did Willow say a few episodes ago? I like it because it's a little ugly. <laughs> but no, like actually, why they put that wig on her? It made her look 87 and a half. All right, new top four just dropped. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking Willow, still, per. Angie, still, per. Bosco, Still, per. And I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking Daya. <laughs> Regardless of how you feel about her edit or whatever. How iconic is it to go from like, first eliminated, to villain of the season, to top four, with at least one winner of the about. As always, y'all let me know what y'all thinking in the comments below and let's talk or whatever. And as always, I will see y'all next week for the next episode. Bye. Do, do, do. Do, do, do.